Hey everybody and welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name is Mary. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about an author that I don't know how many people know about because she hasn't read, you know, she hasn't written books in many, many years. Um, but that is Megan McKenney. Um, I love her writing style. And so today I just, um, I'm going to use the lines and lace to talk about, um, to talk about Megan McKinney, to kind of introduce you to her if you have not read her books or you don't know of her. Now, I do know that if you go on Amazon search, you will not find her books for Kindle. Um, I think there was one, and I don't even know if it was Kindle, but, you know, finding her books, you're going to have to get them used, I'm sure. But, so good. Absolutely love. If you love historical romance, um, and even contemporary, she does contemporary too, I do have some of those. But I really love her historical romance. Um, her writing style is, to me, just, um, if you like, let me start saying, you have to like the alpha male type. If you do not like um, the romances with the alpha males in them who are um, dark and complicated and not very nice, <laughs> to, you know, to start with in the books, then these might not be for you. But if you love the alpha males, the dark, um, complicated man, troubled, um, these books will definitely... Um, catch your attention and you will enjoy them because um, she, she does that. She has great, these are not quick to love um, books. Um, they're, they're, they have very complicated relationships to start with that build over, over a course of time and she has great character development and story development. I absolutely, absolutely love her. But as an example, um, today I have Lines and Lace, which was released in 1992. This one is about Alana Van Allen and Trevor Sheridan. Now it takes place in the 1800s. Um, I don't even know if it actually gave an exact date, but it was the 1800s, um, New York City. Got that side cover there. Just love it, you know. But Alana is part of the Knickerbocker set, which um, are the elite, the blue bloods. Um, of this, you know, at that time in America. And Trevor was a Irishman who came and made his fortune. Now in that time period, the Irish were not accepted. If you read a lot of historical romance and um, even know some history on that, you know that the Irish were um, just not accepted in that time period. So they were not accepted into the Knickerbocker society. So, Without giving away plots, because I don't want to do that, but it revolves around Trevor's sister Mara, who is slighted by the Knickerbocker crowd, and he makes it his mission to destroy everybody that was invited to a party that did not show up for his sister Mara's coming out. And that's where the book takes place. But needless to say, Alana got caught up in all that because she was invited um, she did not, not that she didn't want to go, but she couldn't, but I don't want to give away any plots, but needless to say, Trevor uses Alana. He marries her, um, cause he, he bankrupts these people. Um, it's, you, you have to read the book. I don't want to give away any plots, but I absolutely, um, absolutely love this. Um, Trevor is not a very nice guy at the beginning. He, um, even at the end, he's still, you know, his dark ruthless self, but you know, but he, um, him and Alana come around, so to speak. So this was, um, one of my favorites, um, by her. I think I liked all of her books. Um, I don't know if I have a particular, um, favorite since I just enjoy them all. I just love the alpha male. I love that dark trouble, you know, hero. I love to see the heroines bring them around and make them fall in love. I just love it. But Lines and Lace, in this book, again, I'm going to use this to introduce you to her, but in this book, you also um, learn of her sister, Christabel. Now, <laughs> my problem was I read Fair as the Rose first. Um, these two books go hand in hand. This is the first one, Lines and Lace, and then you um, 
get to pick up with Christabel's story in Fair as the Rose. Now, I read Fair as the Rose first. This was my very first book I read by Megan McKenney. I loved it, and I just fell in love. Um, I had to have the rest of her books. I bought them, you know, I went on eBay, bought a lot, and I just love them. I love them. So, but yeah, don't make the mistake I did and read Fair as the Rose first. It, it is a... Um, is a continuation of Lines and Lace, but I love this one. I don't, I don't know. I might have liked this one a little bit more than Lines and Lace, um, just because I think, uh, I don't know, I think Christabel, or Crystal, as she is in the book, and um, Kane, who I just found rough and tough. I like the Western feel of Fair as the Rose. I guess that's what I'm talking about. I just, I love the, the more Western feel that you get in this book because she does go out west as opposed to, you know, the city life in uh, Lines and Lace. But that's just me. But again, read Lines and Lace first and then Fairs the Rose, especially if you can get a hold of them. I didn't look on eBay to see um, if Megan McKinney had some books for sale in there, if people were selling them. But again, I went on Amazon and I put her in and I think one or two books came up and I don't remember if they were Kindle, if you could get them on the Kindle. I don't think so. But so if you if you do, um, if you've never heard of her and you want to read her, you won't be sorry if you if you like that dark, complicated um, hero. But, you know, getting a hold of her books might be a little harder. But at the time I could go, on, I went on eBay and I got a whole lot. I've got all of her books. So um, but I'm really sorry that she's not writing anymore for whatever reason because I really, truly enjoyed her talent um, because it's just kind of a writing style that I really enjoyed because um, sometimes that quick to love gets a little old and you want, you want that dark, um, complicated man that takes a while to come around, so to speak, which is what you get with Megan McKinney. Um, and, and her books too, I will say this with her books, um, sometimes you'll get with an author the same type of scene or or something like that. Like I said, with her, you, you know, you could be in New York City, you could be out west. Um, there's one that I really love that takes place in a dark, um, damp castle, you know, with a, um, a very complicated um, hero, which I really enjoyed. So you don't know where you're gonna go with her. You'll go to England. Um, she's got, some, you know, she wrote something over there, or you can go to modern day and her contemporary. But, so I don't start rambling on and just uh, get into a lot of stuff. I'm going to go, but I just wanted to introduce you to Megan McKenney. If you have not heard of her and you have not read her, um, again, Dark Complicated Alpha Males. If you love that, you will love these books. But with that, I'm going to go and um, you guys take care of yourself. And until I see you next time, you know, hey, happy reading.